Good evening. This is Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. The big story today, the conviction of Sasi Kala in a corruption case by the Supreme Court. But the game of thrones in Tamil Nadu is far from over and there is now an internal bloodbath within the AIADMK. Sasi Kala, who has to surrender and go to jail to serve a four-year term, had one of her loyalists selected as party chief today and expelled Open E. Selvam from the party. Is Tamil Nadu headed for more instability? Is President's rule also a possibility? Well, let's bring you up to date on the very latest. What we do know at this point is that Sasi Kala, who has to surrender, who had been told by the Supreme Court uh, to surrender today, has not done so yet. Uh, she has to surrender before a court in Bangalore. Remember, it was Karnataka uh, that had tried this case against her and Jai Lalita, but she has not yet surrendered. There are all kinds of rumours floating around that she may possibly uh, seek much more time uh, to surrender. Whether the courts agree to that is anyone's guess. Whether she's actually arrested before that is something uh, that is also a possibility. She's currently parked in that resort uh, just on the outskirts of Chennai along with the other MLAs uh, who have ostensibly claimed support to her. And then there's the other faction uh, which uh, led by Mr. Paneer Selvam. Both factions have met the governor and at the moment the situation in Tamil Nadu very, very fluid. Celebrations outside caretaker Chief Minister Pani Selvam's home on Tuesday morning after news of Sasikala being convicted by the Supreme Court in the illegal wealth case. The verdict ends her chances of becoming Chief Minister. Sasikala will have to go back to jail for four years and cannot contest elections for ten. Her relatives, Ilavarasi and Sudhakaran, have also been convicted. The Supreme Court overturned the Karnataka High Court verdict that had acquitted Sasikala and said the High Court was wrong in its arithmetical calculation of disproportionate assets. Sasikala, Sudhakaran and Ilavarasi had actively participated in the conspiracy to launder the ill-gotten wealth of Jayalalitha for personal gain, purchasing properties. All the accused purchased properties less than market value by forcing the sellers. The registration of these properties was done at Jayalalitha's residence where officials executed the sale deed in violation of rules. The ignorance of Jayalalitha that 12 shell companies operated from her Poes Garden residence can't be accepted. Sasikala stayed with Jayalalitha to acquire her assets. <laughs> The top court verdict severely indicts Jailalita and points out Sasikala's friendship with Jailalita is nothing but an excuse to grab Jaya's huge assets. But the celebration was short lived. OPS's dream of staying Chief Minister now has another hurdle. Edapadi Palanisami. Sasikala's nominee who was elected as AIADMK chief on Tuesday afternoon. Not just that, Sasikala and her supporters also expelled OPS and 19 of his supporters from the party. In fact, the OPS camp supporters were not even allowed near the resort where Sasikala has kept her MLAs. <laughs> Palani Sami, who is currently the state PWD minister, met the governor on Tuesday evening. All eyes are now on the Raj Bhavan. What will Governor Vidyasagar do? Sources tell NDTV he is likely to call both sides for a floor test soon. OPS has also staked claim to form the government and some more MLAs have switched to his side. But where is Sasikala in all of this? The lady who spoke to the media many times on Monday and then spent the night at the Golden Bay Resort has not spoken to the media on Tuesday. She has to surrender at a trial court and then is likely to spend the next four years in a Karnataka jail. With Arun Lachalam Vedinathan, Amitabh Revi, NDTV. Well, Uma Sudhir now joins us for the very latest from Chennai. Uh, Uma, first of all, what exactly is happening there at the moment? Sasikala is still in that resort. Uh, she's supposed to have surrendered. Uh, and, and is there any timeline to that surrender? Because the court didn't make that very clear. How long can she continue this way? 
the court said uh, surrenders forthwith and uh, what uh, Sasikla's camp is uh, interpreting that uh, to mean is that they would like to buy some time in fact and they are looking for a certified copy of the judgment and we are told that that could take about 24 hours which means that Sasikala does have another 24 hours with her and she would uh, she's going to be spending tonight also there along with the MLAs uh, in fact uh, Mr. Palnisamy and 11 others who went and met the governor have arrived back at the resort there was a, a, a plan that was uh, considered that they would bring all the MLAs to Raj Bhavan but that plan was subsequently uh, dropped and right now Sasikala is hoping that before uh, see before she uh, has to go to jail she is able to put a government in place that is uh, nominated by her and that in a sense can be controlled by her but Pani Silvam's camp on the other hand uh, the kind of floodgates that they thought would open with uh, MLAs actually jumping over once the conviction happens, that did not happen. They are still just about touching two digits and therefore for Paneer Silvam the big hope will be if Sasikala physically moves away, away from the MLAs, maybe they have a chance of uh, actually being able to convince them to uh, jump ship and come over to their side as well. So the real threat that uh, they are uh, under now is not just that Mr. Palni Sami could be called in uh, by the governor to uh, administer both and also go in for a float test if both sides are actually going to not be able to make the numbers whether it's Pani Silvam on the one hand and Palani Sami on the other hand the big threat that will be looming is the possibility of a president's rule that Tamil Nadu could go under president's rule no one in the AIADMK certainly wants that because they have four and a half years of rules still to go and that is something that they would like to enjoy and uh, looking at the polls in 2018 is not something that people are looking forward to the second thing obviously is also that uh, the people who are on the Sasikla side also know that they have a baggage that they are carrying uh, that is not seeming to be very popular with the people of the state and there are also local elections coming up in three months and all those considerations will certainly be going right. into their mind when they actually come out and vote as Pani Selvam is hoping on the floor of the house. All right, Uma, thanks a lot for that update. It looks like it, it could probably be another long night uh, there in Chennai. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, uh, on the program with us tonight, we have senior Congress leader and former MP, Mr. Mani Shankar Iyer. He is, of course, from Tamil Nadu himself. Shekhar Gupta is back with us. So here we are uh, discussing this yet again. Badr Saeed, former AIDMK MLA and a loyalist of the Paneer Selvam camp. She's joining us tonight. We have Mr. Raj Shekharan back with us. He's, of course, Shashi Kala's loyalist, Mr. N. Ravi, the former editor-in-chief of The Hindu. And we have with us Nalin Kohli of the BJP and Raju Ramachandran, the former additional solicitor general. Uh, Mr. Ramachandran, let me ask you first, legally, uh, you know, what are the options right now before the governor? Uh, is president's rule according to you still a possibility or is a floor test more likely? I don't think president's rule is an option which comes up for consideration at this stage. I think the choice before the governor now is clear. If Parani Swami has approached him with a list of names and with signatures and the governor is prima facie satisfied that she commands this support, then he should invite Parani Swami to form the government and give him the shortest possible time, maybe one day, maybe two days, maybe three days to prove his majority. The governor, if he finds with the naked eye that those signatures don't appear to be genuine, they appear to be in the same handwriting, if the governor is capable of discerning that, that's the only thing which can create a shadow of doubt. Otherwise, the governor should go on the list which is presented to him and give Parani Swami <coughs> the first shot at government formation. And I don't think this floor test in the sense in which it is being suggested, that is the composite floor test, is an option known to normal parliamentary procedure. These are court-devised solutions. When there are two credible rival claimants, on the one hand here, you have a claimant with 120 names, 125 names, whatever, on the other hand, you have a claimant who only says he believes that the rest are also with him. I don't think there are genuinely two rival claimants with material to satisfy the governor that there is a serious doubt and therefore the first shot should be given to Pani Swami.
Okay, but let me ask you one more question, which is uh, weighing uh, on everyone's minds right now, which is, you know, uh, how Sasi Kala is sort of brazening this out. I mean, you have a court order saying that she needs to surrender forthwith. She's sitting in that resort. Uh, she's, you know, trying to get her loyal government in place and, you know, is waiting for a judgment. Uh, now, explain this to me in this day and age when a Supreme Court judgment is actually online. Uh, how does it actually work? Do they have this 24-hour window until the, the formal judgment, as they're saying, you know, has to come to them? How does it work? Uh, Nidhi, I think 24 hours is a reasonable s length of time by any standards. Forthwith doesn't mean within 10 minutes. Questions can be raised if... Her 24 hours become 48 and they become 72. But as of now, I don't think at this point of time, at 8, 10 p.m., she is violating the spirit of the court's order. The situation may change tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Raj Shekharan, let me ask you as a loyalist of Sasi Kala then, uh, that uh, does this actually go against the spirit of the Supreme Court verdict, the way she has handled things in, in, in the aftermath of the Supreme Court verdict, trying to, uh, you know, get, get her own people in? Uh, and, you know, apparently she's planning to ask for four weeks time to surrender. Is that reasonable? See, uh, if you tell me that she has no right to go before the Honorable Supreme Court and file a petition for seeking time for a surrender uh, is not fair. Every, every convict, everybody has a right to appeal before the Honorable Supreme Court and uh, seek for time to surrender. That is always there in the law, in the criminal procedure. We all, we all seek time uh, for uh, if somebody is not well, seriously not well, if uh, somebody has other problems, see she being a lady, we, we cannot explain the problem in the public. So that is all there. So it can be definitely uh, approached. Uh, what, what does that mean? No, there is the, see the order. No, let me say the order has not come out. They have not the counsel on record who has appeared in the Honorable Supreme Court has not received the order. That's what I understand from the media reports. And they have to get a uh, certified order from the court from the uh, whatever judgment uh, uh, the Honorable Supreme <coughs> Court has said. And uh, after that, the copy has to reach the. Uh, concerned so why are the court all the MLAs hold up so in this, this resort and you know you have you've had actually MLAs a couple of them have actually said they've run away they've used the word we escaped from this resort I mean uh, you know that there, there is now a big question mark Mr. Raj Shekharan about the way these MLAs are sitting at this resort and whether they are actually there of their own free will see whoever had had come to O Paneer Selvam that is the nine on odd uh, MLAs some uh, definitely will enact uh, theatrics and some make some dramatic uh, uh, statements. That all uh, cannot be taken so seriously as it doesn't hold good. But the fact of the matter is, the people who, had, who are with their, in their own will have met the press. The Honorable, therefore, yesterday there was a, a, a case came before the Honorable High Court of Madras and uh, the government advocate had said 119 MLAs are there, duly signed uh, with their petition. And uh, they have submitted uh, the affidavit before the Honorable High Court. So, <laughs> going by the merit of the matter, today they have given 124 MLAs are supporting the newly elected leader, Edapadi Palani Chami. Whereas, on uh, the other side, the, the, the people who had left the uh, ADMK party, the major, uh, the original party, have uh, defected from the... Uh, okay, you're uh, claiming the support of 124, uh, which is why I want to ask Ms. Saeed, who is in, uh, you know, uh, in Mr. Pani Selvam's camp, that ma'am, uh, they are claiming 124 names on their side. Now, it, it is, we don't know what Mr. Pani Selvam's support is, but it doesn't appear to actually to be anywhere close to what the other side is claiming that it has, at least even from the physical presence of those MLAs present in the resort with Ms. Sasikala. You're asking me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I would like to say one thing first. As long as Shashi Kala is around and she has not gone to jail yet, her influence is very much there on these MLAs who are holding in that resort. The first thing is that she has to be out of the place. Only then they will be able to exert what they have to say. This is not the way. First of all, they are holding there. Now, why can't she release them? And secondly, her influence is still around. How will they be able to face anything or to come out with the truth? 
that's the first thing to do is that only after that any flow test or whatever can be done only when they are really free in the sense of being free without her influence around but is there an estimate that your camp has of just how many mlas are willing to switch sides do you have a number well uh, even a majority might come we don't know but as i said how will they speak how will they do anything when they are hold up they can't even move out of that place they're like prisoners there and she is around how will that happen